The Audi S6 is an executive mid-size luxury vehicle manufactured by the German automaker Audi and is now currently in its fourth generation. It is a high performance version of the A6. For 2016, the Audi S6 comes in two different trims level, starting out with the Premium Plus. Next up is the Prestige. The one I have here today is the Premium Plus, just beautifully in glaze of white metallic. The new S6 features exquisite lines and detail that will be noticed from the bold look of the available full LED headlight and signature single frame grille to the clean and assertive character lines that defy its profile. The S6 commands attention and keeps it. Under the hood, it features a powerful 4 liter V8 engine that pushes out 450 horsepower and 406 pound feet of torque. Together with the responsive 7 speed S-Tronic transmission, it can hit from 0 to 60 in just 4.4 seconds. The 2016 Audi S6 body design also features ultra lightweight technology that uses advanced materials that are very strong yet light in weight which help provide the S6 with fast acceleration, shorter braking distances, and sharper handling. Not to mention the available quarter all-wheel drive system that helps the S6 improve handling performance in virtually any weather condition by sending power to the wheel that needed the most for the best grip. So here I have the sticker to the car. As you can see all the standard equipment as well as the optional equipment. So base price on this vehicle started from $70,900 with all the optional equipment added it comes up to be at $83,230 that's including uh, destination charges. Now you can pause the video and take a closer look if you like. Up front the first thing you'll notice is the full adaptive LED lightning that help accentuate the Audi S6 full automatically LED headlight with strikingly new design LED daytime running light as well as LED turn signal light. High intensity retractable headlight washer as well as park assist are also built into the front bumper. Very aggressive looking front bumper. In the middle is the newly refreshed Audi single frame grille with the Audi 4 ring logo in the middle as well as S6 badging on the grille front camera is located right beneath the uh, Audi logo it also comes with intermittent rain sensing windshield wipers with adjustable speed very nice looking front end now moving to the side you see that this particular model I have here today comes upgraded with 20 inch 5 spoke design wheel with 255-35 summer tire. Behind the wheel is the set of 15.7 inches internally ventilated brake disc and the huge brake caliber for faster stopping. Brake caliber are painted in black with S6 lettering on it. V8T badge on the fender. Body color side view mirror with integrated LED turn signal indicator. Side camera are also built into the side view mirror. On top is the sunroof that can be tilted up for ventilation or slide open for an open air feeling. Rear wheels are also 20 inches and comes with 255-35 summer tire as well. Behind the rear wheel is the 14 inch internally ventilated brake disc as well as the power assisted brake caliber. It also comes with anti-lock braking system with electronic brake pressure distribution and brake assist, electronic stability control with secondary collision brake assist and traction control, tire pressure monitoring system are also equipped on all four wheel. To the back, you quickly notice the iconic LED tail light with integrated LED brake light as well as LED turn signal light. LED tail light also features a new shape LED brake light to match with the front LED daytime running light. Very beautiful tail light. And there you have the ducktail rear spoiler. At the bottom is the matte black rear diffuser that frames the quad black tip exhaust. Park assists are also integrated to the rear bumper. There you have the S6 badge on the trunk lid. Rear camera is located right above the license plate 
and will activate once the vehicle is in reverse. And there's the third LED brake light on top. Okay, here I have the remote with our S6 badge on the back. On the remote, I have the lock, trunk release, unlock, panic button, as well as Audi logo. Now let's open it up and check out the interior. So the car does come equipped with smart access key system. With the key in your pocket, just press the button located on the door handle once to lock. And after a few seconds, place your hand behind the door handle to unlock. The exterior color is known as Glacier White Metallic, featuring a full black leather interior with diamond stitching on the seat. It also comes with carbon fiber trims and silver aluminum trims throughout. Very luxurious and sporty interior. Now let's jump into the driver's seat, start it up and see how it sounds. So with your foot on the brake, just push the start button to start. Now let's pop the hood and see what the 2016 Audi S6 have to offer. Under the hood is a 4 liter TFSI V8 engine with 7 speed S-Tronic transmission with steering wheel mounted paddle shifter, quattro permanent all wheel drive system which offer 40 or 60 torque split. It is pushing out 450 horsepower and 406 pound feet of torque. It can hit from 0 to 60 in just 4.4 seconds according to Audi. Top speed is electronically limited at 155 miles per hour in the US. EPA estimated fuel economy is 18 city, 27 highway, and 21 combined. Very impressive engine. Now let's shut it down and take a detailed look at the interior. Here is a look at the driver's side door panel. It is all black with microfiber in the uh, middle section with white contrast stitching as well as carbon fiber trims and silver aluminum trims throughout. All four windows are fully automatic and there you have the uh, child lock and window lock button. Side view mirror controlled and it does feature folded option. There's the blind spot indicator door lock and unlock and two position memory seating. Here's the both surround sound system and the trunk release button. Door storage compartment. S6 aluminum door seal. And there's the sport pedal. And here is a closer look at the sport seat with our S6 embossed on the uh, backrest. I love that white contrast stitching. Now both front seats feature 12-way power adjustable front sport seat including 4-way power lumbar support. A memory system for driver seat recall two store position for the seat, steering wheel, as well as outside mirror. The three spoke flat bottom design steering wheel is fully wrapped in black leather with white contrast stitching and silver aluminum trims all around as well as S6 badge at the bottom looks and feel very sporty. It also features multi-function control side by side for your convenience with control for audio, voice command as well as the most frequent use function in the vehicle and there you have the up and down paddle shifter so you can put it in manual mode for a more aggressive ride 
and there's the windshield wiper control and here you have the turn signal light control as well as the high beam cruise control steering wheel does feature power tilt and telescopic steering column and here is a closer look at the instrument cluster which feature a large TFT screen in the middle that display all the information directly in front of the driver in razor sharp, brilliantly clear and high contrast quality very nice feature and there you can see all the vehicle function here's the driver's side air vent with beautiful aluminum trims and carbon fiber trims light control, rear and front fog lights and there's the knob to uh, control the instrument light and here is a closer look at the dash now this particular model does come upgraded with the Bose surround sound system that feature 14 loudspeaker located throughout the cabin that pushes out 630 watts of beautifully balanced audio for both you and your passengers now located centrally on the dash here you have the large LCD screen that can be open or closed I think that is very cool and there you have the trip reset button and dual event as well as uh, silver aluminum trims there you have the Audi multimedia uh, system auto start, park assist, traction on and off and here's the uh, full zone climate control and it does feature three stage heated seat very beautiful carbon fiber trims on the center console here and here you have the uh, parking uh, brake lift up to activate and press down to deactivate there's the gear shift lever feels very nice in your hand so just press the unlock and pull down to get into reverse so once you're in reverse rear view camera as well as the uh, over the top camera will appear on the screen with guidance line and it will also move as you turn the wheel and you can also pick uh, from different uh, camera view from the outside very nice you do have a 360 degree view from the outside and down again for neutral down again for drive and over to the right for sport mode but that's when you can push it up or down to change gear or use the steering wheel mounted paddle shifter to change gear as well and just push it up again to get into park S6 uh, logo right there too as you can see and here you have the uh, start and stop engine button volume control and the uh, skip track button and here you have the navigation, telephone, menu, back, car, media and radio and the uh, knob in the middle is to uh, move around your screen you can press it down to select or you can also use the 4 button located uh, around it it's uh, indicated by the 4 corners so there you have the uh, car so inside the car's menu you uh, have the option to select your different uh, driving mode comfort, auto, dynamic and individual so inside individual you can uh, control everything individually and there you have your telephone control, Audi Connect, navigation and as you can see here's the navigation it is very responsive and there you have uh, media radio so let's uh, turn on the music to see uh, how to it. very nice quality there you have the tone so it is very easy to use and here you have your touchpad controller as you can see on the screen there two cup holder center storage compartment inside you have two USB plugs as well as the auxiliary input and a 12 volt power plug and the uh, compartment for your coins beautiful carbon fiber trims on the dash with quarto lettering on it glove box compartment inside you have the uh, valet button and here is a closer look at the seat once again I love the way the seat looks very nice upholstery material 
On top you have 3 button universal garage door opener, your light, as well as the one touch open close moonroof. So the moonroof you can be uh, tilt up or slide open for an open air feeling as you can see there. And this is how it looks tilting up. Rear view mirror. Sun visor mirror. Alright, now let's open the uh, back door and check out the rear seat. So rear seating offers seating for three as you can see. It does have that beautiful uh, diamond stitching as well. And it offers quite a bit of leg room there. Here's the rear driver side door panel with our microfiber insert as well as carbon fiber and aluminum trims. Rear windows are also automatic. You also have an ashtray there. Door storage compartment, both surround sound system. S6 aluminum door seal for the rear as well. Alright, now let's jump into the rear seat and see how it is in the back. But first, let me show you the look to the front cabin. Very nice looking cabin. And here's the look to the top. Down here, you have the air vent and a full zone climate control for the rear passengers. Two 12 volt power plug. So I'm 5'8", and I have about 3 or 4 inches of leg room left. There's the rear seat pocket. Rear seating are very comfortable, very well padded. Here's the look to the back. Rear armrest. You also have a storage compartment inside. Two cup holders. And there you also have the uh, pass through to get uh, into the trunk. And there you also have the lever to uh, fold down the rear seat. And you can fold it down into 60 or 40 split as you can see. There's the uh, air vent on the side, hand bar as well as the hook, light controlled. And you do have plenty of uh, headroom as well. So this is how it looks with uh, both of the rear seats folded. Alright, now let's pop up the trunk and check out the trunk space. So the trunk in the S6 offers 14.1 cubic feet of cargo space, which is pretty decent for its class. And if you need more, you can always fold down the rear seat like I did earlier to get extra cargo space. There you have some floor mat as well as the uh, weather floor mat. Let's see what we have here. Down here you have your spare ties and uh, your tools. You have a hook on uh, each side here. And here you have the uh, manual release trunk button. So gas cap is located on the passenger side. It does require premium unleaded fuel only and holds approximately 19.8 gallons of fuel. And just push it back to lock it. Overall, the 2016 Audi S6 is a high performance luxury mid-size vehicle with seating for 5 passengers. Rear seating are quite generous with 37.8 inches in headroom, 37.4 inches in legroom, and 56.3 inches in shoulder room. The front cabins are also very spacious with great upholstery material and nicely carbon fiber trims and silver accenting trims all around. Here's the look to the uh, rear seat once again. So now let's jump into the uh, front passenger seat and see how it is in the front. So like I mentioned earlier, it is very spacious and very comfortable sitting in the front seat. Alright guys, that is it for today's review. I hope you guys enjoyed the new 2016 Audi S6. Go ahead and leave me a comment letting everyone know what you guys think about the new Audi S6. Don't forget to give me a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel for more future video review. 
and as always I'm going to take it out for a short drive to show you guys how it's like uh, sitting in the front seat and how it's like uh, driving the S6 so I had the uh, S6 in dynamic mode right now which uh, makes the throttle response very responsive It does have a lot of power, I can feel it. It also offers that uh, very smooth ride that you get on the uh, luxury vehicle. Now, steering wheel response are very responsive as well. It is very easy to uh, steer. Overall, I think it is a great vehicle to buy. Alright guys, I'll see you guys next time.